What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool, back here again for Practical Machinists as we continue our live coverage of Manufacturing Technology Series West here in Anaheim, California. And now for something a little out of the box, we're dropping in at Blue Photon, I'm joined by David. Hey, great to see you Ian. Thank you very much for having us. Now, Blue Photon does work holding, I believe, but a little differently. Tell me a little That's bit about right. the process. So we're uh, extremely different than all the others in that our work holding technology is adhesive work holding technology. So much of the work holding that's out there, you're using uh, clamping vices, whether it's on top, coming into the part, and that can cause distortion. Something like this in a five axis environment, milling out a lot of material, the part can then lose, exactly. So you're almost holding the part in a free state. Uh, what's important to our technology is that we use grippers. These are sapphire encased in stainless. Okay. Oh, wow. And that, that sapphire is what's going to hold, oh, excuse me there. That sapphire is what's going to hold our adhesive. The adhesive goes on. Oh, sorry about that. Look at that. Well, those are like little lenses, essentially. Right. So that's what transports the light from underneath. Okay. You have oh, okay. the UV light that comes in underneath, and it supplies the light to that. So when you put your workpiece on and you hit your light, one minute, and now you're getting absolute secure work holding going on there. Really? Those sapphires are going to give you 600 pounds of tensile strength. So when you're trying to compare this to other work holding that you've got clamping strength coming in, uh, we measure in tensile strength. Small, medium, and large. Uh, the smalls are about 80 pounds of tensile. The medium is about 400. And what we just used there was 600 pounds of tensile strength. So what that means is that you can, although, you know, when you think adhesive, my head goes to two-sided tape. You ever see guys do yeah, that, they absolutely. put it down? Absolutely. It works. This is actually more akin to having like invisible screws going into your part. Absolutely, and you're gonna be throwing this into your machine and doing all your aspects that you would normally do. Oh, yeah. Don't lighten up on your machining aspects. Really? Go at it like you would normally do to machine a piece of titanium, ink canal, what have you. And you're gonna use this in all your processes. This is gonna work in the EDM department. This is gonna work in the uh, mills, oh. the lathes. Uh, even in grinding applications, that's a very big uh, market for us. Especially as well. for non-ferrous stuff, absolutely, right? Absolutely. And the nice thing about this, I'm guessing that once it's mounted to this, you can take this from machine to machine, Correct. all in the same adhesive. Oh, yeah, we it's have, got a zero point we system have on the back. Customers that do too. Uh, they do that now. They go from a, a mill or to a grinder over the EDM, and what's more, you could take that back into the CMM room, do your checks, come back out and you're not getting the distortion that you could normally not get at all. with uh, high value parts. Oh, and look at that, like, I mean, obviously I'm not a, an end mill right now, but like. <laughs> but you're strong, come on. I'm pretty strong, I don't know if I could rip that off if you I wanted to. You win a card, yeah, you win a card. Yeah, true. Okay. Well, I'll hold you to that. I might <laughs> spend a little more time on this. So that's that's a super from the cool simplest system. standpoint, right? So you've got five axis applications, uh, lathe applications perhaps here. Oh, that's like a chuck. Yeah, so imagine, you know, don't just grip, uh, grip your thin wall work piece. You can actually oh. put this portion in a chuck. Now you're putting that on and you're getting uh, true contact with the bottom surface. No so you can way. do all your micro machining, maybe face grooving on that. So that's where you can take this around and use it in multiple areas of the shop. That's shot. super, super cool. And what's this here? This is, I mean, a bone plate or so something, but. Yeah, or it's a knee. So you're gonna need these pretty soon. Oh, well, hopefully not, but life, maybe. Right? <laughs> so uh, in this aspect, now we're getting into a production standpoint. So the challenges in doing something like this before was holding that part, having your clamping out of the way, and also maybe they had to put a tab on here to help hold that. Now, you're being creative with your fixture. So, you can machine ah. your fixture and introduce the grippers inside of there, and we're sitting that workpiece right on top. Now, in something like this, as you know, they're, they're using barrel mill technology. They don't make barrel mills that long, they're short, so now you have really close access to your machining spindle. So these sapphire lenses, they're not limited to a pallet off the shelf by Flu Photon. Absolutely I can actually not. integrate them right. into my work holding. We do that, so uh, somebody can have versatility of going maybe from an OP-10 to an OP-20, take out the five axis vise. You know, you've machined half of a sphere, now oh, yeah. I can do the other half, right? So you'd make a tripod type of fixture, uh, holding that unique shape. 
So getting out of the everyday ordinary into being creative in your fixture build. Right. Uh, we've got customers that even use this in a CMM room to suspend the part to get around. Smart. Because, yeah, yeah you, I mean, with something like this, a lens like this, I could literally have a ball on the end of this, and I have access now to 100% of that part. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, I've never seen this before, but it looks like there are a bunch of wild yes, applications of that yeah, over there. come on over. So this is really... Uh, uh, really where we got our start in doing uh, foils, right? So engine blades that are high value, very hard to hold. Uh, in this case, uh, this is a custom sapphire that we do, but in larger um, larger foils, we can still use our gripper technology. Oh, so that. that's, at, so instead of the contact point like you see here yeah, on some of them, that the entire light. thing is yeah, a contact point. Yeah, so that's, a, uh, that's an entire machine sapphire, so we can accurately uh, hold uh, location, uh, the datums, uh, with that uh, delicate part. That's crazy. Um, you know, over here is a, um, that's an additive part. This is where the industry has really been growing to, into us. Additive manufacturing uh, comes to us in two different ways. Number one, you can make fixtures out of additive manufacturing. Right. Okay. The other thing is, all the things going up in space nowadays, how do you hold that stuff, right? That's been the challenge that people bring to us. So with an additive standpoint, uh, you may have to do a post process. Right. So how do you hold that part, that delicate part, to do a post process, correct? So now we give you an opportunity to hold that part without introducing any stresses to that workpiece to do that function. Yeah, because I mean, imagine trying to clamp on that. A, it's probably going to get kicked. Absolutely. B, if it doesn't get kicked, it yeah. just got squished. Or it's going to take you a whole lot of hours to figure out and get that workpiece No out. thanks. Yeah. The really cool thing about this too is when we talk about additive, you know, you said additive fixturing. This entire fixture is additive manufactured, 3D yeah. printed. Correct. So somebody can literally come up with it and, you know, Inventor or SolidWorks, whatever they want, print their fixture, add these lenses, and they're off and running. Absolutely. Absolutely. It puts a lot of the power back in the shop's hands, right? You can create your own really custom work holding yep. that still holds well. We know so many people that are getting parts sent to them to quote on, and that's, that's the challenge, is how are we going to hold this? So that's why anywhere from the R&D, uh, the one-off type person, to a uh, production standpoint, to doing foil at an aerospace manufacturer. This really helps out the challenges that are, are seen to us today. Now, the one question I gotta ask, because it's on my mind and I'm sure people are gonna ask, once that part's on there and it's solidified, how do I get it off? How do you, why do you have to ask that question? Well, of course. <laughs> okay, from a standpoint of this one, uh, where it's a simple uh, five axis fixture, you're gonna do the debonding. So there you go. Literally, all I gotta do is just hit it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So that, that adhesive has actually turned into a form of acrylic. And that's nothing to get rid of. No. So it holds that tensile, but I'm not fighting this for three days. That is the that is the secret in our sauce, okay, is the way that the adhesive debonds. So in that case, you wouldn't want to use this, clamp your, uh, put your part on one, uh, uh, one gripper itself, you could spin off, correct? So. Yes, having uh, that debonding method really helps speed the process. That to was the part. insanely fast. Yeah, it is. You and know, that, that way you don't think of it that much because the tensile strength, right? But right. I mean, if you'd use something like epoxy, like two-part epoxy, I'd be cutting that off with a hacksaw and destroying it. Absolutely. Like that's nothing. Absolutely. And I gotta ask you, what are we looking at back here? Because yeah. this is some weird and wild looking stuff. So this gets into more of our challenging applications. Obviously the, the larger battery or uh, electronics boxes. That Big with EVs and stuff, right? So many of that coming out. So we really help hold those items, uh, eliminate that di distortion that you would normally get. And again, get all your fixture clamping out of the way. Uh, but when you get into something really difficult, such as framework, okay? Oh, geez. Uh, depending on where, where all of your applications are taking place, again, you're designing the additive fixture component, uh, you know, using your CAD software, and then it can help pinpoint where you're gonna put all the grippers back into that. And now you're securely holding that part that would otherwise have Ugh. a real pain to figure out on clamping that. You'd be moving toe clamps all over the place and it would still probably warp out of position. Absolutely. What's really cool about this too, since those are single points, literally when you design that, you, you can almost go in reverse where you find all these flat sections you take that angle out, you put those lenses in, and Correct. you're done. Correct. It's it's funny how simple it is. It is. Despite how complicated it's a it is. Seeing is believing type of product. That's why we're so glad you're here. And that's uh, that's one of the things we enjoy about doing the tool shows like this. But a lot of our customers we can't always talk about. 
uh, and that's always a challenge. Is once people see it for their own eyes, you you see smoke coming out of ears, you see the gears going, right? And then they start to understand slowly yeah, after absolutely, that. Absolutely, absolutely. I gotta ask what this thing is, because this is something yes. I have not seen before. We are so excited about this because uh, we've always had this as a product, it's called a stabilizer. Uh, but we're expanding on this product this year. We're gonna be excited to introduce more of this product uh, into next year. And when you start getting into more structural items, you right. pay, you, you've got a machine bed, uh, your work pieces up here that you gotta do the machining on, but how do you keep that structure up here with any types of your traditional clamps? Right. So really this is based on, you know, this ball is actually your, your wrist there. So you're gonna come in with a puck and you're going to put the adhesive on you're oh, bring this that is that same UV own. bonding. Yeah, yeah. So oh, you're okay. gonna cure that on here. Then you can attach that stabilizer to whether it's a magnet, T-slot, what have you. And now you're getting nice support on a higher area. Uh, we have customers that get vibration when they're doing applications up high. Uh, mill marks in there, they've got to remove. Yeah, so chatter. Now, yeah. And that adhesive actually gives a little bit of uh, vibration control in there too. It would though, but I mean, this makes sense because when we have to do tall stuff in my shop, Either you're stacking up vices or chucks. Yeah. You got T-nuts going down this far, like it's it's a mess. This really kind of streamlines being able to hold that up. Right. But if people want to find out more about this product and all the products from Blue Photon, where should they go? Uh, we go to bluephoton.com uh, and uh, they'll find all the information there. We've got some great uh, videos they can link onto as well. Sorry, bluephotongrip.com. Don't forget the grip, right? The grip support. So go to that website and uh, you're gonna find an easy way to pick out the product, get your product knowledge. We've got some testimonials on there, as well as some short video clips to introduce you to. And most importantly, we'd love to come to your shop, do a demo so you can buy one too. 100%. Absolutely. And of course, if you don't believe this, you can come see it yourself live yes. here in yes. Anaheim. So stay tuned and make sure if you get a chance to come by Manufacturing Technology Series West here in Anaheim, stop by the Blue Photon booth, check it out with your own two eyes. And make sure you stay tuned as we continue our live coverage. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks so us. much, Ian. Appreciate you stopping by.